Hey guys, and welcome back. So I'm going to do like a super short, quick video with you guys. I have a couple things on my desk I want to show you. This is just some stuff that I got um, as a thank you for, you know, buying something from their shop. And I thought it was super cute. It's a cup of hot cocoa. Isn't that cute? And it's a pen. I thought it was really cute. Anyway, um, it's Christmas Eve. Um, it's almost 10 o'clock. And I realized I didn't have a video up for tomorrow. So I figured I'd come on here and show you guys a couple happy mails. Like I have one Christmas card that I've had for a minute because I was kind of waiting for other Christmas cards to come in because I'm part of a swap. And so I knew that I had a lot of cards coming in. But I got one card in today. Um, mail won't run tomorrow, obviously, because or well, today for you guys. But it's Christmas Day, so mail's not going to run. So I will most likely have most of the Christmas cards from the swap come in, obviously, after Christmas, since today, this evening is Christmas Eve. So um, I've held on to one of them because I was trying to do more than one in a video. And so I did get one today, so I'll just do both of them together. And the one that I got from Missy, I knew that she had sent me some things to go with it. And I'll explain a little bit of it. Um, so I had briefly mentioned that I was going to do a challenge for you guys. Basically, you send me something that you think would be challenging for me to work with. And so that is what is included in her in her card. I don't know what she sent me. All I know is that it's something to do with that challenge. So um, this was some tissue paper that came with the, the order that I did online. So I had to find some more bottles is what it was. Um, because everywhere I have looked, they're out of the, the glue bottles. So I had to try and find some so I could decorate them and put them on the shop. I do have one on the shop right now and I do have more of the toppers as well on the shop. And uh, this is just another project that I'm working on currently. Um, I will work on that later. I cannot work on that on camera, but I can show you guys the Happy Mail. So this is the first one. This is from Melissa. And I opened it, but I didn't open, open it. I just slid the top. That was it. So <clears throat> I'm not certain I'm going to keep that. Um, Natasha and family. Uh, she spelled my name right. Not a lot of people do, which I think is really cool. For challenge, I'll open the card in just one second. I'm actually kind of excited for this because I have no idea what this is. Um... So it looks like she sent some junk mail. Oh, that's really cool. That is pretty awesome. They're perforated. Okay. Okay, I can definitely have some fun with that. And then obviously the card, I can have fun with that as well because the card is shaped nicely. So that'll be pretty fun to play with. Um. Because I actually, I really enjoy playing with Happy Mail, or not, well, I enjoy playing with Happy Mail too, but with uh, the junk mail, because I mean, I do, I do do junk journals. So, um, wow, my trash bag is like way behind me and the glare is like super bad today. I don't know what it is. Um, I don't think I moved my lights, but I don't know. I guess I did. Anyway, it's kind of late. So, <laughs> um. But anyway, this is got an address on the other side of this. So I'm not going to show you the other side, but it's really pretty. And I like the colors. Um, so there is some junk mail to play with. There is some washi tape. We'll keep that. I actually really like this washi tape too, because it's like kind of like postage style. I do like that. And obviously I'll have to use glue on it because it's been sealed a couple times. Then there's an envelope 
which in and of itself is actually kind of cool too. Um, so we've got a tag. This looks like a back of a tag. And we've got some ribbon. This actually looks like it came with this. Um, okay, so we've got pieces of washi strips here. So this one might be interesting to play with. Oh, and I've got some DNA. I don't think you guys can see it, but I got some of her hair with it. That or dozers. I think it's really short, so I'm, I'm thinking it's probably either nuggets or dozers. It's kind of fun, though. Um, oh, and then she sent me an actual finished product. So that's cute. And it's got a fairy coming out of a stocking. That's pretty. That's really cool, though. Can you all see that? That's pretty neat. And it's like a little shaker. Well, kind of. It doesn't really move. Oh, okay. I see. It does have shaker bits in there. I don't think it was. I don't know if it. I don't know if maybe she sent it to me because it was coming apart or because it was a finished project and she wanted to see what I would do with it. Um, some tissue paper. Tissue paper is fun. Uh, some more junk mail. Ooh, this is interesting. I like this. I like the, the pocket and the feel is really cool. Like, I like that feel. And then some of the tassel from over here. So that'll be really interesting to play with. We're going to do that in another video. I'm not going to do that with this video. Like I said, this one's going to be really, really short. I just wanted to get something up for you guys um, because I forgot to record something and my internet's going to shut off in like 45 minutes because my internet shuts off at 1030 every night. So, and then this is the Christmas card. Whee! Sweet tidings. Aw. Okay. <laughs> okay, I have to read this to you guys. Um, I didn't read the card yet. Um, Aw, Missy, thank you. That's sweet. Okay, so I have to read this to you guys. This is funny. So, it literally says, so. So, I really thought about this. For me to send you a goodie <laughs> would be like sending coal to a diamond dealer. Like, really, what am I supposed to do? Send your own lace and stickers back? <laughs> Nonetheless, I love you. <laughs> Just without getting benefits. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just thought that was super funny. <laughs> Girl, you t you do enough for me. You don't need to send me goodies. <laughs> and I love you too. You're awesome. So anyway, that was from Melissa. And we're going to set this aside and we're going to look at the next one. So the next one, like I said, I just got this today. So I did not open this. And this came from Miss Tracy Bennett. Okay, I might be able to open it. I have pens like stuck. I've been making dingles all over the place. So I have like pens everywhere. They're, it was stuck on my scissors. <laughs> that note, man. That's funny. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh. Oops, let's not go that way. Oh my gosh, that is crazy. It's a good size envelope too. Look at this bird. Oh, look at this. Oh, I love that. And then you've got the foliage on this side too. That is really cool. I like that a lot. It's got foliage on the three corners and then the birdie. Isn't she pretty? I don't know if y'all heard that, but my dog's like right behind me and she just squeaked at me. Aw. 
You're so cute. Aw. <gasps> a Santa. He's a jolly old man. I love it. I love Santa. Oh, there she goes, hollering. Oh, it's a shaker. And I like how she handmade her envelope, too. That is so cute. I love it. Oh, look at that. Oh, there's more. Okay. Oops. Oh, that is really cool. It's a snow globe. My daughter would get a kick out of that. My oldest daughter, she loves snow globes. Uh-oh, this one's stuck. There we go. It's like a bunch of them are stuck together so it doesn't want to move. That's okay. It'll come apart. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. Aw. Thank you, Miss Tracy. I love this. This is so cute. And I like that I've got more stuff to put in my glue book. Oh, that's what we could do real quick. We can do a couple little things in our glue book real quick. We can add our um our pieces here and our card i love this i'm adding this envelope and i'm just going to glue it straight down so i've got something to um trying to decide what kind of glue i wanted to use uh but Oh, I need to change out my pen. This pen got bent. It got crooked. You see it? I bent it. You should not use your pens to declog your glue. That's not what they're for. You will most likely bend them. But I did hear something about how you can straighten your pens back out. Uh, by rolling them in between two acrylic blocks. Heard that and I was like, ooh, that's a great idea. I'm going to put Santa right there. And I'm not going to use any of the challenge pieces in the glue book because I don't want it to be like, oh, I'm just putting them in a glue book so I don't have to use them type of thing. So I'm not going to do that. I'm going to put them in something completely different or I'm going to make something completely different with them. All right. And then, oh, I just got some tissue paper. Let's do some tissue paper. And you, you knew I had to bring the glue book back out because the glue book is freaking awesome, dude. I swear I'm going to play in this thing like every day until it's completely full. I just, I can't get over how much fun it is. Because you literally just glue stuff down. It's great. Oh, and I did sign up. Someone had suggested in the comments to sign up for the Recycle Bank. I did sign up for that. And um, so I have, I got my first... A set of points and um, hopefully that is going to come soon I don't remember which magazine I signed up for it was it was like a combo it was like two uh, two magazines for like 400 points or something like that anyway it was really awesome so whoever mentioned that and suggested that thank you so much for that <laughs> it was funny though because my husband asked me he's like uh what is this recycle bank thing i was like i just click on a bunch of stuff gain a bunch of points and then they send me magazines and he's like what <laughs> i was like yeah it's cool ain't it <laughs> oh and he just looked at me like you really need more paper <laughs> he didn't say that to me but i could see it in his face he was thinking it i know he was poor man but I love him because he's amazing. All right. So we are just going to put you right over there. And you are so pretty. 
Let's put you right there. Let's put some more tissue paper down before we add this guy. Because I want to put you on top of everything. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think my glue stick might be running out. Then again, doing a glue book like four times a week. I don't know why it would be running out. But that's okay because um, I think I have decided to use like my cheap old glue sticks that I've had for a while and that I don't really use in projects that I'm selling because they won't hold up because someone told me, again, it was in the comments. Um, someone said that it's not necessarily about whether or not it sticks because it's the process that makes a glue book what it is. It's just fun to play with and glue stuff down. And they're right. It is. You just have fun just gluing stuff down. It's just fun. Okay, so I've got this card here and I am so, I am so keeping this, this, this note in here. Oh, it is just the funniest thing. So I have to keep that. I'm so sorry, Melissa. I know you're probably like, why are you doing this? <laughs> okay. Oh, also you were talking about your live today. Well, yesterday for you about how to do a tip in on like super glossy paper or the glitter paper that's like real textured. You fold it just like I just did this one. You just fold it right there and you put a wet glue right here. And I would suggest using a PVA glue, um, a white glue, like tacky glue or something like that. And, um, hmm. We're going to, we're going to move you down just a little bit. There we go. Anyway. That way, you still have your flippy flop here without losing any of your design or whatever it is you're working on, you know? So, I should have put you on this page. I think I can still do it. Let's do it. Come here, you. Yeah. All right, hold that thought. So I think I'm going to glue this down and we'll probably call it because I said I was going to do a short video, but now it's like, I'm not sure how short it's going to be. Come back here. Oh, I just dropped it. Oh, I dropped my sand block and I'm just sanding it a little bit to give it a little bit of texture. So the glue will have something to grab onto. And hopefully there is enough time left. Otherwise, I'm going to have to have my husband extend the internet. But I'm pretty sure there's going to be enough time for me to get this into my editing program. Boost my sound, because for whatever reason, y'all can't hear me. And then get it into YouTube before the night's over. That way you guys can have it bright-eyed in the morning. Um... All right, so let's do it this way instead. There we go. Okay, that way, voila. All right, so anyway, I will work on this some more. Um, not tonight, I'll probably just, you know, get to bed because my kids do like getting up early in the morning. Well, my little one does. The two older ones, the teenagers, they're like, what time do we have to wake up? I'm like, it's Christmas. 
in the morning would be nice. Um, but yeah. So I'm going to have to move him just a little bit because he is bending when I fold it. So I'm just going to scooch him over and you won't even know it. You won't even know the difference. And that's going to be hard for us to do if you don't move him when the glue is still kind of wet. And I'm using a wet glue, so that makes it a little bit easier. Anyway, so I'm going to hold this down and press that, and um, that'll be all copacetic. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys are having a wonderful, wonderful, and cheerful, and merry, merry holiday season. And whatever you choose to celebrate, whatever you guys believe in, just love each other and be kind to each other. And I will see you guys all in the next video. Bye, guys.